everybody I'm going to try to do this video on what I was just thinking about the Lord showing me as I grow in his grace and that is that as I said before knowing Jesus Christ and walking with Jesus Christ is based on dependency upon Christ showing you things walking with him moving with him not acting in independence in your own understanding and that's why the scripture says lean not to your own understanding um i grew up in the church system as most of us are way familiar with the church system and uh you can't teach people into jesus christ uh the scripture speaks about sound doctrine observing sound doctrine well of course you have to observe sound doctrine but the problem is Man, in his independence from Jesus Christ, writes things down. They write courses down. They write doctrines down. And they say, this is how this works. This is how that works. And that is not, I repeat, not moving in dependency on Jesus Christ and him showing you things. Um, when you say the sinner's prayer and you, and you uh, uh, come to Jesus Christ, that is but a starting point. This is why Jesus told his disciples um, to enter in the narrow way. And, of course, they asked him, Master, are there few that be saved? And he said, enter in the narrow way. And that's speaking about a continuing dependency upon Jesus Christ, not acting in the second leg of sin, which is independence. So there's independence and rebellion. That's why it says rebellion is his witchcraft. So all of Christianity depends on being dependent on Jesus Christ within your spirit. And nobody can teach you that. Uh, the, the first point that I want to make is I do believe in election. There are people that uh, God has preordained will come to him. But what the church doesn't realize is most people will not enter in. And, you know, where it speaks about... Um, Many will come to me on that day saying, Lord, Lord, didn't we cast out demons? Didn't we prophesy? Didn't we do all these great works? And of course, Jesus tells them, depart from me. I never knew you workers of iniquity. Now, why would he say workers of iniquity? Because they were doing it in independence from Jesus Christ. He may have given them the gifts of the Holy Spirit uh, to do healings and to prophesy and that type of thing, um, which is entirely possible. There's people that don't even know the Lord Jesus Christ, and yet he he works through uh, whomever he will, and which is, uh, you know, complicated to explain, but the fact of the matter is that does happen. Uh, so I want to I make a point. Um, the other day I saw a cartoon, and the guy was holding up a sin sign in the shadow of the cross, and the shadow didn't show the sin part because of the cross arm, the shadow of the cross, cross arm um, blotted it out. And so the theory was that God didn't see sin because of Jesus Christ. Well, that's exactly true. Um, the um, minister, whoever it was, um, this Bible guy, uh, asked me if I didn't believe in the power of the blood of Jesus. Are you denying the power of the blood of Jesus Christ? Well, no. As a matter of fact, when I did deliverance in Baltimore City, um, that is the major words that you use to do deliverance. You tell them about Christ's blood being on your home, and this uh, it's given to me in stewardship. So, of course, I'm not um, denying the power of the blood. But see, this pillock, he, he has a head full of doctrine that he's learned from the church system. So he thinks because I'm saying that um, you won't enter in with Jesus Christ. And it's amazing because they, they call it Pauline doctrine, you know. Um, it's this once saved, always saved thing. This et And he says, are you denying eternal security? Well, I'm not denying eternal security for people that actually know, number one, which is by grace, the Lord Jesus Christ. And number two, 
continue to follow him. They don't become diverted to another gospel, which is um, what John spoke about when he said there's many that started with us, but they became diverted, and he called those people antichrists. Um, the world uh, calls antichrist. Everybody thinks that's Satan coming. Well, actually, it's not. An antichrist is an alternative to Jesus Christ. That's why he says these people started with us, but they became diverted. So that is impossible that it's once saved, always saved, because it's a matter of spirit. Do you continue with Jesus Christ, on with Jesus Christ, above all else, or do you sell out for your position in the world, power in the world, comfort in the world? Is there something in the world you... Um, you sell out to. And unfortunately, these institutions that I've spoken about before, they are more interested in their survival than they are in actually following the Lord Jesus Christ. You cannot mix Jesus Christ with Baal. Um, you can't love the world, world and the Lord both. It is a very, very pure, what they call holiness, um, movement, and that's been bastardized too, but holiness is simply um, keeping your garment unstained from the world, like the ten virgins. That's another example. You have ten virgins. It's talking about people who actually started with Jesus Christ in grace, but yet they became diverted. They weren't paying attention in their heart, and the thing that competes with the uh, Jesus Christ the most in your heart is church system, systematic theologies. I'm sorry, Satan is a sly bastard. And you can learn all the Bible up in your head that you want to learn and come up with all the doctrines like eternal security. Well, there's only eternal security if you continue with Jesus Christ. People cherry pick the scriptures without even knowing it. And the most of the, re the reason is because they don't actually follow Jesus Christ. They don't say, Lord, is this true? Show me, Lord. Show me, Lord. Whereas a disciple will say, show me the truth, because they have a love for the truth that they might be saved. That doesn't mean just initially. That means throughout their walk that they might be ultimately saved. We, do we have a love for truth that we might be ultimately saved? This is what the church system doesn't teach. Um, the Arminian system is, you know, you, you can't stub your toe, and of course, I'm, 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 I'm saying this kind of tongue in cheek, and you say, God damn it, or you know, you, you you did this and you did that, or or you know, you're under law, Romans seven principle, and of course, you'll re, you'll reject it because you're being put under law, and those of us who walk with Jesus Christ are under grace, so you have that, and then you on the far side of that you have the um, Calvinist view. Oh, don't worry about it. It's God's work anyway. It's all it's all going to come to pass if he started it in you. Uh, that's not true either because it that that's only true if you actually continue with Jesus Christ, if you don't become diverted to another gospel. And another gospel could be listening to your minister instead of listening to the Lord. And the Lord showed me this because it took him killing me, if you will. Uh, all my, I was in 20 years in the Army and water survival training, and my heart stopped. Absent from the body, present with the Lord. Jesus Christ was right there with me. But God showed me this in spirit, these things. Later on, when I was trying to get ordained of men, uh, the Episcopal, and, and I actually did get accredited through the Baptist, but and I was in the Presbyterian leadership before that, uh, I was, you know, I was striving to become ordained a man, become someone in the world for Jesus. Let me tell you something. You cannot do that. That will destroy your spiritual work, walk. I'm sorry. These people in church systems, a lot of them are, don't even know Jesus Christ. And the ones that have started with Jesus Christ has, have become diverted to doing it themselves in independence on Jesus Christ. Now, I got a lot of people that love to argue the Bible with me. Um, 2 Thessalonians 2, that wicked, be not deceived, you know, great darkness will cover the earth. I'm paraphrasing because I'm, I'm not a, a memory guy. Uh, before that wicked can be revealed, the man of sin who will pose as God. Um, 
and then people get into their head. They'll say, well, watch this video. That's that's already happened. Jesus already come. There you go. And it's all, it's all these Bible doctrines, all these thoughts done in independence from the Lord Jesus Christ. Men come up with an idea and they print a book about it, or they, they create a doctrine about it based on the Bible, based on what they can see. But that will kill your spiritual walk because the Lord will show you yourself if you're following him, what the truth of the scriptures is. I don't need somebody to teach me into Jesus Christ. Now, I have had Bible doctrines drilled into me all my life, and I did work in street ministry, like I said, with demonic stuff and spiritual things. I mean, I learned the basics when I was uh, a, a very young man. The Lord showed me the basics of how to walk with him. That is what I'm talking about. How do you walk with Jesus Christ? You walk with him through dependence, not independence, because man wants to be God, small g God. Men want to be God. They want to be the leadership. They want to be the teacher. They want to teach people things, um, but, they're, but it's not done within the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, and people think I'm talking about emotionalism, or charismania, or whatever, but it, uh, so only somebody who has the spirit of Jesus Christ and walks in the spirit of Jesus Christ can recognize what the actual spirit is of Jesus Christ in another. And most of them are counterfeits. I'm sorry. Some of them have pretty good understanding of the Bible, and some of them have some pretty good ideas about how the Lord actually works and functions, and that's fine. But the but the thing is, you can't replace God with a natural mind. It is, again, based on dependency on following the Lord Jesus Christ. And many start with the Lord Jesus Christ, but become diverted. And that's what the different types of seeds, the, different, the sower and the seeds, the ground, the different types of ground are that Jesus is talking about. Now, there's people that say, oh, that doesn't mean that. That's before they come to the Lord, you know. Uh, gotquestion.org, for instance, who I used to write for very shortly, um, uh, has, has things like that. Oh, no, we're the authority. Let us, let us show you. Let us explain it to you. You have something wrong. Well, the amazing thing is it's by grace that you're saved. It's by grace that you follow the Lord Jesus Christ. And even if you have something wrong in your doctrines, the Lord you're still part of the family of God. The Lord Jesus Christ still dwells within you because it's a matter of heart. It doesn't matter if your doctrines are off or not off. The issue is, are you with Christ now so you will be with him later? Again, going back to the 10 versions, I can get, you know, uh, the Lord has just shown me all these scriptures, how they fit in, why they were written, why they were said. Um, and I don't have to learn it up from some from some dude in a suit. I remember I played, prayed years ago. I said, Lord, show me. I don't want to learn it up from some guy in a suit. Well, I didn't realize that I was praying in the spirit of the, the Holy Spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ. I was asking that in the spirit of truth. And God has honored that. So it's a very mm, peculiar thing, walking with the Lord. Um Basically, either you have it or you don't. You have God's grace working in your life and you're listening and being obedient. That's what obedient means. Not walking in dependence, walking in dependency upon the Lord Jesus Christ, or you're not. And most people that are not have learned things, up, have learned Bible up in their head and they're acting independent of Jesus Christ. That's what most of your church systems do. And the Lord showed me this, like I said, I had that near-death experience, and when I when I tried to get into these different organ, man-made organizations to be recognized, I wanted somebody to recognize me as somebody who knew the truth. Um, but the Lord told me, follow me. Pastor Gray said, don't you see? And I had this experience. He said, don't you see, bro? And it's the Lord saying, follow me. Follow me. And that's what you have to do. I don't care how smart you are. I don't care how good your memory is. Um you know, my mom's a Bible teacher, you know, um, very smart, understands a lot of things of God, but that doesn't mean anything. What means something is, are you being dependent on Jesus Christ actually, or or have you um, 
created a surrogate for the Lord Jesus Christ. And that's what church system does. That's why Revelation 17, I believe, is the false church. And the false church is based on unity. Let's unify the world. I was watching the thing on 9-11. Let us be reconciled to another. That's the world's reconciliation. God's way is separation. He separates, he's separating out a people for himself. That's God's way. God separated the people of the world. Satan's way, way is to reunify them. But people don't understand these things because they have not the Lord Jesus Christ. They don't understand. They do it in their head. They try to, they walk independent of God. And when you walk independent of God, that's only man-made functioning in the natural, not the supernatural. And when I say supernatural, I'm not talking about emotionalism. I'm talking about identifying and walking correctly in the Lord Jesus Christ. And if you have him, it's futile to argue Bible with people. Because the thing is, they can't see. If they don't have the Lord Jesus Christ doing a work in their lives and teaching them where he actually teaches them in their spirit, they're stuffed. And the sad thing is, most people start with Jesus Christ but become diverted to another gospel. Um, and those people, I believe, will go to hell because they've been given the chance at salvation and blew it because they refused to follow Jesus Christ. They followed something other than Jesus Christ. And people don't like to hear these things, but this is what the Lord God of Israel has showed me. Uh, I didn't understand these things. I was part of the church system. I was trying to learn things up like other men do in their head, which is interesting because God doesn't allow, has never allowed me to learn things academically in my head. He's created a dependency upon him. And that dependency upon him is, forces me to move in the spirit where I can't do it, where I have to cry Abba like a little child, show me. It's based on dependency. That's why Jesus said the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. I'll be like this little child because they're dependent upon Jesus Christ. The whole scripture screams about being dependent of Jesus Christ, not independent in the futility of your own mind. And that's the problem with the church. No matter how well-intentioned, if you're not following Jesus Christ, um, you know, then you don't know him. And the knowing there, you know, depart from me, I never knew you, is an intimacy, like in a marriage. It's not knowing all about him, but it's actually knowing him. That's what I wanted to say today. Bye.